And in the in this what you like failed calculus well, in or this, something? In this red red pill sphere, there are too many numbers that are attached to people, <laughs> and I think exactly. I already I already get confused just looking at that. So the point is that uh, if, for example, I give her a five, sure. it's like a number that gets attached to her, and she will have even if she doesn't care, she will think about it. And I don't, I don't think, I don't see why I have to judge people that way. Yeah, definitely, I have an opinion inside my mind, but I don't, I don't see why I have to uh, 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 like say it so explicitly. Even if I want to give her a ten, you know, I mean, I don't like the numbers attached to people. We are more than that. And as uh, and also the story of the six feet, five points, you know, like. Those are other numbers that are attached to people. So I agree, I agree with you 100% when you say that we are unfair when we uh, like exclude a guy just because he's not six feet, uh, bec because that's just a number. Another number that I hate, the fucking body count. Sorry, oh, yeah. mm -hmm. I swear. The that, body count. Sure. Yeah, we will get there, of course. But oh, we, behind, can, we can start off. We can behind a number, there is a person. That's what I mean. And so like like. Try to understand what the person is. Not, not do not stop to the body count. Well, I mean that's con I, I mean we can talk about other numbers yeah. too. I mean, for example, we can talk about if you object so much to using numbers to categorize people. Let's talk about someone's income, for example. Let's talk about sure. penis size, for example. <laughs> so I mean to say that to to suggest that men are these creatures that are overly superficial and judgmental when it no, comes to man. women's appearance. No, I did not say that. Well, you, well, you're objecting to the 1 to 10 rating scale, but I mean, you, you're, and, and you're also objecting to the body count thing, which is actually beyond something that's physical. It actually speaks to someone's, um, uh, someone's I, I guess you could say, to their uh, behavior, which I sure. think is critically important. So. And I mean, there's it a doesn't, myriad. It doesn't explain you what's behind that number. It just what? gives you the number. But if you get stop, stuck there, and so you judge a person if she or he has a seven or or 27, you are not actually knowing that person. You're stuck at t to the surface. What, what's behind that number? So, for example, okay, can I give you an sure. example? Sure. Go ahead. Like, let's suppose a girl is 30 years old and she has. Uh, 100 as body count. That's immediately a slut, right? Immediately, uh, according to the red pill vision. But that's <laughs> the, the mind that you. She was the, a slut way before that, 100. <laughs> that's the, what you get in your mind immediately. But you don't know what's her story. So that story can confirm your bias or not confirm your bias. But sometimes just, the story doesn't matter, right? If no, you're it looking does matter. For a partner, well, let's if that person is here's a number about somebody, their weight. If somebody is 500 pounds. I don't need to find out the story behind why they're 500 pounds and well, give you them a should, chance. Well, you should. You nice. should. Instead, you should. You should know the story because you don't know the physical condition of that person. You don't why know. Why should if, I care though if I'm not interested? Well, in if them. you are not interested, you just st stay stuck to the number and move on. So the guy is not yeah. interested in someone with a hundred body count. That's a number, and he's no, not no, it's going not, to consider are, her as a partner. They are over interested. Yeah, but the problem. I mean, the problem with me, you can definitely judge based on the numbers. The problem with me is that you don't get to know that person if you stay stuck. Or if you just judge on what they tell you. How many 500-pound guys have you given a chance? Like no, no. I mean, most, I, I, I'll, I'll respond to the reverse. <laughs> I dated only two guys that were six feet in all my dating history. All, they're, all the so, others are okay, lower But there are some that. things where, like, someone doesn't even get through the door based on something superficial, and that's okay. That's fine. That's fine. But he asked me why I object to the numbers, and I'm responding because... I get stuck stuck to the surface, and I don't go beyond that, and I don't like that. So if I want to refuse a person, I want to have a more deep idea of what their person is. At that point, I can say, okay, maybe it's better not to date that person. But if he just uh, like if Brian tells me I am 45 as a body count, and for, for me it's too high, and I I tell him explicitly I'm not going to date you because you're 45. That's bullshit. I mean, I get why to know though? what's behind that, why he got 45. I get to know what's his life experience. If I don't like it, I, at that point, I would be like, but I'm people sorry. are entitled well, I, to their thing that disqualifies a potential partner. Like, right. they're entitled to that without an explanation or a story. They are entitled. I'm telling you what I do. Nobody because he asked me my opinion. So I don't like to stay stuck on the okay. numbers. Well, and it's, it's also the reason why I did not rate that guy. Well, I don't think it's... I don't think it's bullshit. Nobody <laughs> is obliged to date anybody. Right. You could have the most arbitrary reason to not want to date someone. I don't want to date them because their favorite color is purple. 
it's a ridiculous, maybe this isn't a perfect example, but nobody is entitled to a relationship with someone else. No one is obliged to date anyone else, whether it's rational or rational. I happen to think though, when it comes to body count, that body count matters a lot. So That's even if you fine. even if you think it's irrational, even if you think it's a, a bullshit, someone is entitled to not want to date someone for someone any get entitled, any number of, of reasons. Of course, I mean you're free to do wh whatever sure. you want. I'm telling you my perspective. Okay. I don't sure. like to get Fair stuck enough. to the numbers. Yeah. Have you been with a virgin? I have, yeah. How did you feel about the lack of an experience? 